Uh, this is the, the cab of it, and I do have it set up here. I have a, a distribution panel there for my cameras and my camera mount. Uh, there's my phone over there, holder, just laying on the seat. But, because we're leaving Friday morning with this for my channel. I put mud, mud guards on it because it was throwing, uh, well, chipping up the doors and throwing mud up on the door. So I put mud guards on it. Uh, when I got it, the, the, the dash was uh, gray. I blackened it out. I blackened around the headlights. I painted it black. There's my channel logo. So if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates. Uh, I went through the whole thing mechanically. Um, mud, mud guards again. Uh, it does have a folding step. Just kind of pull it out and flip her over. Let's see here. Yep, door is open. Uh, uh, the, the door works well. Uh, the awning there, I put new fabric on it as well. I actually replaced as well as I replaced this outlet under, in here. That's a new outlet. We've, oh, we installed this grab handle, which makes it easier than the original one. So it flips out and you can get in and out a little easier. We've got new screens. I put new screens in the door as well. We're going inside here. Let's see if we can get some light on the subject here. We're not plugged in right now. I've got it set out because we got some bad weather and I didn't want to make the tree. So that's why it's sitting where it's at. Okay, we're gonna go over a few things in here. This is kind of messy, but we're gonna throw all the bedding up here when we're traveling. And you look around there, there's my little baby Yodas. They're coming along because, uh, I don't know, I kind of named this after the after the razor quest from the mandalorian so i refer to this as the razor quest uh, my wife found this really nice little sign here we put up and this door here is the bathroom mm -hmm. bathroom slash shower uh, that's the cabinet there hello there i am uh we got toilet little trash bin little sink area and we've got storage underneath the sink obviously we've got toilet paper trash bags and chemicals and stuff you'd use you know uh it does have an outlet we put shelf unit here to put some like off and off bug spray on we got a towel rack here to put um towels in we've got an exhaust fan a power fan this is the shower area if you want to Use that little thing. We're probably not going to use the shower. Uh, it's going to be just basically for uh, um, if we need to put it that way. We, otherwise, we're not planning on using it. So my wife found this nifty little curtain to put up here. Um, this is a sitting area, and you can actually sit here going down the road. So my wife and her, our wife and her, and her friend, they're going to sit here. And we found these nifty clips, cup holders. So you can clamp, clamp them onto your table or whatever you want to sit at. Then we got uh, cabinets up here. We got some dry goods, some snacking, some extra stuff sitting in there. Over here, we got a coffee maker, a toaster, and some more snacks. And then we get have some snacks when you're traveling. Uh, I found this nice little clock at a store by us, so I picked it up. Um, I did install carbon monoxide detector in it, as well as it's got smoke detector. Uh, back here, we have a, uh, another bed area. We redid all these cushions. They're all been redone. Uh, we got storage up here. This t back in the day, this would fold down into a second bed so you could sleep actually if you wanted to put that many people in here you could sleep eight people in here if you wanted to then we got you know storage over here bedding sitting up there uh tv sitting right there 
And I just, I did buy a new TV to put in here. The other one was kind of, it was a DVD player slash TV and it worked on DVD but not on TV. So, and also this thing never had a uh, TV antenna. So I put a King's OmniPro uh, antenna. It's a HD omnidirectional antenna on the roof. So this is the controls to turn it on and off. Then up here we have paper plates and cups. And then this is my distri distribution panel so I can check my LP and the pump. And I can test uh, the tanks, see how they're doing. They need to be whatever. And unfortunately that part's, you know, it's like any other old, older motorhome. They never work. It, it, they quit working. So you, you, just, you, can just, you just know. Uh, we got a microwave oven. We got a This is the vent line, um, and it has, I put all LED bulbs in it, in everything we have here now. Everything's out, got LED in it. That's the other thing. All these fixtures uh, throughout are all LED lighting. So I have all LED lighting throughout. I did upgrade that. Then we have a Wedgwood uh, stove. Uh, use a um, match light to match or a lighter to light it it's got an oven then over here we have used to be a wardrobe or a closet uh, we we don't hang that much stuff up so uh, we made it into a, a more of a storage area we put these bins in here so that we got places to put I got my binoculars and down here we got more bins and a little strainer and as well as a scrap bag thing. We've got my hatchet in there if I need it. Um, then down below here, I just got a bin down there. I keep the extra propane bottles for the grill that's on the back. Then over here on this side, this is our distribution center. Uh, this was set up for generator slash propane, so I mean uh, solar so uh, that's why all the, all the gauges and everything is in there then up here we have our fridge uh, this is a Norcold and it's a pretty good size for a little motorhome this thing's 24 foot so we got a freezer then we got the fridge area my wife's already got some stuff sitting in there getting stacked stocked up we'll put all the final stuff in here when we get ready to go um, let's see here. We got everything covered in here, I believe. Um, yeah, of course, we got our sink. Uh, we got a fuse panel down there. And we got more pots and pans. We got silverware drawer here and here. Then we got a, just a big drawer down here. If I can get it open. Which we don't have nothing in right now. So we got an empty drawer. Door, unit. So that's the inside of this uh then what's nice is you're riding down the road and you need to go step away from the wheel you always stop the vehicle of course we were kidding about this about cruise control and just get nothing going and come back you know you don't do that but you can access the driver's area here like I say here's bedding i put a fire extinguisher here then we go out the door here like I say, there's my access to the propane tank. Shut this door up here. There's my, how I access the propane tank down there. I have an outlet here. Like I say, new tires on it. This is to access the refrigerator right here. Back the fridge. And down in here, is initially if you had a generator this is where the generator would go and what I got in there really is uh, I got two big batteries to power the motor home and I got uh, oh leveling blocks uh, a 12 ton bottle jack in case I need it the tools to uh, change out the uh, I left the light on here a minute Tools to change out the tires if need to. 
but I do have road service on it, towing. Then we go around the back. I put, I got this uh, tube in here. That's the hole, what they call, we can refer to as a stink hose or your sewer drain hose. So it's in there. Uh, reason I put that on there is the original one, uh, it won't, the one that's in there would not fit in the bumper. So the bumper is empty. So uh, I keep it in there. Then we put this rack on. Then I keep the, we can set a cooler on. You can see I got some stuff sitting on there. Uh, our rug that's going to go next out when we get there. Then our, our little little end tables to sit around a campfire as well. In this tote is the is the grill, propane grill. That's where I'm going to keep it right keep it at. Then we go on the side here. This is the furnace. Then this is the water tank. This is where you'd fill it. Then over here is your city water hookup. That's where if you go to a, a, a campsite that has a full hookup, you can hook your garden hose right into here and use their water. You don't have to rely on your water tank. Then right here is the gas fill. Then this is your shore power cord that sits in here. It, uh, it's a 30 amp service. Then right here, this is the hot water heater. The back, that's the hot water heater to heat up the hot water in it. Um, like I say, I went through everything. Underneath here, there's that new, a new valve underneath there. That is all new. You probably just barely see it. Ah, there it is. Uh, that is new. It's just a little road dirt on it. It's gonna be hosed off or splash dirt, but that is new. I put that in there new, so. Oh yeah, then I put, uh, I have trouble with my hands, a little arth arthritis in them, so I put this wheel cover on there. And this probably added 40 horsepower to it, just putting that wheel cover on there. Nah, just kidding. But I put that on there. I did put a second power port right up here. Then this opens up, and right there's a power, uh, we used to be a cigarette lighter. We don't have c smoke, so this became a coin uh, change. Uh, tray I, I cut out the cigarette holder right out of it so then you put your coins or whatever in there and then plug it in then i uh, got a little glove box area i did put carpet down in the cab here and i say you can see we were just back there so this is the original cab uh the only thing we got to do down the line is got all these snaps we're going to redo all this, and I'm, we're going to make a new privacy curtain for it. Um, like I say, there's a my camera mount. But uh, on the engine, uh, I changed the air cleaner on it. I put an Elderbrock system on it rather than the, the, the original uh, air cleaner that was on it was really restrictive to me. I mean, you're, you're feeding eight cylinders through a hole the size of less than the size of a coffee cup so uh, I put an Elderbrock on it and I noticed the difference right away and I didn't have a whole lot of money invested in it so I did put that on it um, this is this course has got a 454 in it then up here I, I did I did change out the stereo uh, this is all had the air all upda updated to R134A now, so the air conditioning has all been updated and been charged, so that's all set. Uh, I have switches over here. You'll see them right here, right there. And these switches are well, this one here. If I need to jump start it, uh, I can use the onboard batteries and I flip that switch on. So that's these switches are due. And of course you got your dome light, your trailer brake uh, controller switch here. Um, but this, if you notice, there's no shoulder shoulder straps. They're just lap belts. No airbags in this whatsoever. This is the 1983, so um, yeah, which means there's no catalytic catalytic converter on it, and it's running. Uh, dual exhaust so 
Let's start her up here a minute. Get her started up here. She's old carbureted, so they, when you first start them, they smoke like that. You can hear it. That's big. That's a big block Chevy thump in there. So you can see the smoke cleared right up. It's because of the. They're, it's a carbureted engine. It's not fuel injected. If I keep it down the line, I'll probably. Um, we may down the line fuel inject it, get a kit and put on it. I I don't know. We may drive it for a year or so and just sell it. Um, up on top. I put the Max Air units on there. There's my Omni King. I want to do this. The thing extends. Make use of it. Well, right there's the Max Air unit. Then you got the the Omni Omni Pro Omni King Pro, which is an HD TV antenna. And if you look, just ahead of it is a brand new Coleman Mach three. Uh, 10th generation air conditioning unit and also I have replaced this is the exhaust for the ex uh, the vent for the stove right there and that's the, the outlet for it I, I put a new one on my wife made the curtains uh, also it, it has a piece of stick on top there. All the lighting, mark, marker clearance lights are LED. The only thing I haven't changed out are the tail lights and the headlights. Everything, everything is LED on it. Even right down to the porch light. So, yeah, everything is LED on here. So there's the porch light right there. And my, like I said, my wife made the curtains. There it is from the front. So I thought you'd enjoy a quick walk around of it, and it's pretty much done. We just got to load it up now. Uh, there's no um, nothing I need to do to it. I double checked, triple checked, uh, transmission, coolant, oil, power steering. Everything's been is good on it. So, so I hope you enjoyed this walk around of my motorhome, my vintage. 1983 Mallard on a Chevy C30 chassis. Uh, it's got a Dana 60 rear end in it too, if you're, if you're wondering. Uh, so, uh, if you're new to my channel, if you will, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates. And uh, next update will be when we're driving on the road. So, I will... I will catch everybody later, and you all have a good, good day, safe travels, and God bless. Bye-bye.